Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome back to a Triathlon Tech Tuesday, uh, or at least that's the name we're rolling with right now. Uh, today, I want to talk about a product called Stride Power Meter. Um, here's what the packaging looks like when you purchase it. And I think they did an excellent job with the packaging. Um, it looks super nice, super professional. Obviously, they put some thought into um, making this look sharp. So uh, let me see if I can pop out this pod. Uh, this is the actual stride power meter itself. This is actually all the brains of the product. Then underneath here, we've got a couple other things. One is a plastic piece to help attach the stride power meter pod to your shoelaces. And I'll grab a pair of shoes and we'll just put it on at some point. And the other is um, what looks kind of like a little tray. And it, there's some, a little bit of instructions on the back. Uh, the tray is great. It's, um, it's USB micro powered. Uh, and to charge up the stride power meter, what you can do is you can actually just plug it into USB and then just drop it on to the actual tray itself uh, and it just charges up. It ha the light turns yellow um, and then I think it turns green when it's finished charging. Uh, and then, so, I mean, a really, I think this is a really smartly thought out product. Uh, so I'm really impressed with that. So it must be conductive charging uh, piece here. So, um, and then the other nice part about it is, is um, from my experience using this product, uh, the battery life is excellent. Um, I'm probably charging it up less than, maybe I would say less than once every two weeks. Uh, so it's not too hard. Um, again, once it moves, it kind of comes on, comes to life and it will blink at you. Uh, and then let's take a look at how this would look on a shoe. I try to put it a little bit off to the side so that as my foot bends, it'll be a little bit hard to see this, but um, it just snaps on there like that. I try to put mine off to the side just a little bit so that as my toe bends that there's no pressure on my forefoot. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm super impressed with the overall construction of this product. I think it actually is really well built. Uh, the battery life is fantastic. Charging is fantastic. Uh, and I actually think that the product works really well. Um, it doesn't seem to bother my foot at all when I'm running on there. I've done quite a few long runs with this product. Uh, in fact, what I do is I actually just like put it on a pair of shoes and then I just like put my shoes anywhere, wherever it is, like I'll run with them whenever I put, you know, and then uh, drop them, take them off, and I just leave the pods on the shoe. So I feel like they are, you know, they're, they're nice in the way that you just don't have to think about it very much. Uh, wear it, and then with all of your other data that's going up to Strava, you would have running power data. Uh, and the way the product works is, um, it's not like a, I wouldn't call it like a true power meter. Now, um, I imagine that the Stride Power Meter company is probably gonna disagree with me and say, yes, this is a true power meter. Uh, and where I would say it's not a true power meter is um, it's not uh, a traditional power meter in that um, power meters are always, at least in the cycling world, they're strain gauges. Meaning, um, you know, you would take like a, a piece of metal at a certain temperature and it will give a certain amount of bend, up, you know, based upon how much pressure is applied to that particular piece of metal. So strain gauges have been around for an extremely long time uh, and they're a fantastic way of measuring how much force is being applied to a a particular object. So that force might be um, within the pedal, pushing down on the pedal or pulling up on the pedal. Uh, that strain gauge can tell you how much force is being applied to that particular um, product, in this case, the power meter pedal. Uh, and hopefully that power is being transferred into the bike uh, through the drivetrain and into the you know wheel or um, the actual uh, area of the bike that is driving you forward. So uh, more power means that you are going faster on the bike, direct correlation. Uh, in this case, uh, the stride power meters, there's no way to, um, to have like a strain gauge or 
Maybe they're, you know, maybe some products are doing that with like an insole or something like that. Uh, but Stride Power Meter, what they're using is an accelerometer. So accelerometers have been around for a while also. In fact, you probably have one in your pocket, in your smartphone. And I think this is where accelerometers have really like excelled. They've gotten so much better in the past, I don't know, 10 years or so. They're extremely small and the way they work is, um, think of it like, uh, you know, kind of like, like a weight on the end of a pendulum or something like that where, um, you know, uh, a very, very small um, weight, you know, and, you know, some surrounding area that's going to detect movement in that weight um, through current. Uh, and so basically, you know, as you accelerate, you know, the pendulum swings backwards and we detect how much acceleration we have. Um, if you jump forward, the, you know, the pendulum swings down and we can say, okay, then we can detect how much you've jumped and things like that. Uh, same thing with stopping and starting and things like that. Um, so that's how accelerometers work. Uh, and again, they've just gotten so excellent and they've built them so small um, that they've, they've been able to do amazing things with them. They can put them in your smartphones. And in this case, they're putting them in our very small uh, stride power meter. Um, and so uh, with that information, the way they do it is they actually feed it through a number of different algorithms. And this, this is kind of where it gets, you know, tricky. Um, I feel like people say algorithm and their brain just turns off, but it's just, it's a simple math equation. And, and basically think of it at like, uh, a math equation that is going to learn a little bit. Like um, we're saying that if we see these certain patterns, this is walking. If we see these certain patterns, we think that this is running. Uh, and that's how a lot of the accelerometers determine whether you are walking or running. Um, so way more accurate than like your classic pedometers that are basically a little ball that goes back and forth. Uh, and then, so if you ever look at your phone, for example, and you say like, hey, what's, you know, how much did I walk today? That's the information that's looking at. It's looking at your accelerometer from your phone and it's determining we think you've walked this many steps. Uh, and the algorithm is, you know, a lot of these algorithms are constantly learning and things like that, uh, but they have a pretty good understanding because again, they have been using a, a lot of these algorithms for, you know, uh, 10 years, a decade now, and they're getting better and better at predicting, you know, how much walking you're doing, how much running you're doing. Uh, and again, with the stride power meter, they're feeding it through um, basically three dimensional uh, so that, you know, that's up down, like how much your stride is bouncing. Uh, and then basically, um, if you're running uphill, it can detect, you know, that because you're, you're hitting, you know, you're, you're leaving at one particular location and landing on a different particular plane of locations. So we can do a lot of things that way. And the way that their algorithms that they've come up with work is they're, they can dial it in and they can basically put together a number that they're going to call power. I would say it is a, a highly estimated amount of power and, and it should be relative, right? So. Again, you know, when you're out running at 230 watts, you know, for 30 minutes or whatever it is, they're saying, you know, that this algorithm that we've come up with, uh, you know, is going to say it's going to look at that accelerometer data and we're going to um, basically apply that and estimate it at this 230 watts for example. Uh, and then, you know, as you slow down, you know, they're detecting that slowdown and the accelerometer differences. And they're saying, you know, according to our calculations, now you're actually running at 100 watts. And these are just random examples. But uh, accelerometer data, you know, what they've done is that, you know, they've spent a ton of time and they've really dialed in this power data uh, and they can constantly tweak it, but you can get a pretty good feedback on how much power you're putting out on a particular run. So if you're running uphill, you actually need to put out a significant amount more power to hold even close to the same pace. If you're running against wind and things like that, you know, um, I'm wondering if the stride power meter might run into issues with wind, but uh, the idea is simple, like you're, you're pushing off at a certain effort, you know, to be able to maintain a certain pace. So combining that with GPS data, you really do have a lot of running data when you're using a product like this. So, uh, one of the main questions that I think you guys should be asking me um, is, hey Matt, you've been using this product for, uh, 
I would say about a year or so. What do you think? Do you think I should purchase it? And my 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 answer to you is harsh. It's it's probably not. I don't think that this is a um, a product that's necessary. It's a it's a nice to have product, uh, but it's not a product that I think is going to serve you as well as like a GPS watch or going to the track and having your basic stopwatch and looking at times and things that way. Um, a lot of people will disagree with me on this one and I understand where they're coming from. I think power data is fantastic. I'm a huge believer in power data on the bike. I think it's probably one of my favorite tools and I do wanna do another video talking about power meters um, and how to use them within cycling. But as far as running goes, maybe I'm a traditionalist. Uh, I really think kind of knowing your times on the track is important and kind of all else, you know, I wouldn't stress too much about it. So um, I have tracked my power data for this past year just because the stride power meter does make it super easy, but I'm not diving into it and doing workouts based on power. I have not found that useful. Um, I am not doing um, really kind of like training or easy distance runs based on power and I definitely have not been racing based on power. And I think for me, um, it may be because I've been running for my whole life, but knowing a certain pace is a lot more valuable to me than knowing um, that particular power number that I'm using. So uh, again, and, and I also run a lot to feel. So I, I do feel like when I'm racing, I do love to know, I glance down at my watch and I know, I like to know what that last mile split was. Uh, but the, the power numbers weren't as interesting to me. Um, so I would say if you're considering purchasing this, it, it is a great product, it's well built. Um, I do find it fantastic. Uh, fantastic product as far as like the effort in the um, manufacturing and also the science that went behind um, getting accelerometer data to really correlate well to power data but um, it's not something that I would recommend to my friends in the triathlon world which I consider you guys uh, so that's my take on it and take it for what it's worth uh, again these um, Try Tech Tuesday concepts are just uh, the idea that we would kind of take a look at a techie product. Uh, I will give you my two cents on it, and you know, you guys can formulate your own opinions. I'd love to hear what you guys think, especially if you have a stride power meter. Feel free to comment below and let me know what you guys think. I know that a lot of you guys are probably gonna just tear me a new one. You'll probably say, yes, this is great. You know, I'm doing all my, my, my training based on this and I'm seeing personal records um, race after race. So if that's you, comment below. I would love to hear all about it and maybe I'll do a video update and change my mind. Uh, but until then, thanks so much for watching. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, and if you like the video or even if you hated it, hit the like button and, um, and that'll help the channel. Thanks so much and we'll see you guys next time.